Welcome to this lesson on the coordinate plane part 2. Please be sure you have these notes in front of you so that we can begin our lesson. The I can statement for this lesson says I can graph rational numbers on a coordinate plane. So in our previous lesson we've talked about these vocabulary words before so we're going to go through them again just so that we can refresh your memory on them. Our first vocabulary word is called the x-axis which is the horizontal number line. So the horizontal number line would be the one that I'm highlighting in blue, that's the one that goes from left to right. The y-axis is the vertical number line. That's the one that I'm highlighting up and down in red. The coordinate plane is formed when the x-axis intersects the y-axis. So if you look at our little diagram, the red line intersects the blue line, and the coordinate plane is formed. When that happens, four quadrants are created. Quadrants are created when the axes separate the coordinate plane into four separate regions. So we know that this is quadrant number one, this is quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Ordered pairs are the location on the coordinate plane, and we usually use the format x comma y. Make sure you don't flip them, x should come first, y should come second. The origin is where the x and the y axis intersect, so I'm going to place a black dot right here. That is the origin. The address or the ordered pair would be 0, comma 0. And the last vocabulary word is to reflect, and that means the mirror image. So we're going to talk about these vocabulary words in the following examples. So problem A is asking us to identify the ordered pairs for point A. I know that point A is located in quadrant 1. So I'm going to use x, comma, y to find that location. Notice that the numbers on the x-axis and the y-axis are skipping lines in between each whole number, which means that that's going to be a decimal. So that would be half in between 0 and 1. Here's another half in between 1 and 2. So if we look at point A, I'm going to start at my origin, which is 0, 0. I'm going to travel on my x-axis. So here's half Here's 1, here's 1 and a half. So I know that my x coordinate is 1 and a half. Now what we have to do, so now what we're going to do is we're going to travel in our direction of the y axis. So I'm going to start where I left off on my x axis and go up, here's a half, here's one whole, here's 1 and a half. So my y coordinate would be 1 and a half. So together, point A, the ordered pair would be 1 and a half, comma, 1 and a half. Example 2, we're going to find the ordered pairs for point C. And we know that point C is right here in quadrant number 3. So we're going to use the X, comma, Y format to help us out. Starting at 0, 0, my origin, I'm going to go on my X axis. So here's a half, negative a half. Here's negative 1 whole negative 1 and 1 half, negative 2. So my x-axis coordinate would be negative 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel downwards. Here's negative 1 half. Here's negative 1. And it's our dot is right between our negative 1 and our negative half mark. So we know that that would have to be negative 1 point because 0.25 is half of 0 0.5. So my ordered pairs would be negative 2 comma negative 1.25 or I can do this negative 2 comma negative 1 and 1 fourth. They mean the same exact thing. For example 3 we're going to figure out the ordered pair for point D and we know that point D is right here in quadrant number 2 so let's go use the X comma Y format to help us figure out the ordered pairs. So I'm going to start at my origin, which is 0, 0, and I'm going to travel on my x direction. So here's negative half. And I'm not going to go to negative 1. I'm going to go in between, because my dot is in between. And I know that, that the in-between mark between negative half and negative 1 would be negative 0 0.75. Or you can write it at negative 3 fourths. I mean, decimals and fractions, they mean the same exact thing. So now what I want to do is I want to jump up 
on my y-axis, so here's positive half, positive one. Now I'm not going to jump to the entire interval line. I'm going to stop in the center, and we know that in the center of one and one and a half would be positive one point, one point two five. For fraction form, I can write positive one and one fourth, and both ordered pairs would mean the same thing. So pause the video, complete these got it problems, and then play it back for some feedback. Now that you had some time to complete these problems, let's take a look at the answers for letter A and B. Here's the correct answer for letter A. Point B could be positive 0 0.5 comma negative 0 0.75. Or you can write the fraction form of it, which is positive one half comma negative three fourths. For letter B, the correct coordinates for point E would be positive one point two five comma negative one point seven five, or as fraction form, it could be positive one and one fourth comma negative one and three fourths. So, for example, four, we're going to graph the ordered pair one point five comma four. So I know I'm going to use the x comma y format again. I'm going to start off at my origin, which is 0, 0. And I'm going to jump one space. Now I have to jump 0. 0.5, and 0. 0.5 would be the halfway mark between 1 and 2. Now I'm going to jump up four spaces on my y-axis. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4. So my ordered pair would be plotted right here in quadrant 1. For example, two, they're asking us to graph negative two comma negative two point three. So let's go ahead and use the x comma y format again. Let's start off at our origin, which is zero zero, and we're going to start off on our x axis, and we're going to move over negative two. So here's negative one, here's negative two. Now we have to go down negative two point three. So I'm going to go down negative one, negative two. Now negative two point three would not go all the way. 2, negative 3, it would probably end up right here. So this is the graph of negative 2, comma, negative 2.3, and the point is in quadrant 3. Example 6 is asking us to graph negative 1.7, comma, 1 and a half. Let's use x, comma, y again as our format, and we're going to start off at our origin, which is 0, 0. On our x-axis, we're going to run negative 1, point 0.7 would be right before our negative 2. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go on our y-axis to positive 1.5. So here's positive 1 here, and 1.5 and would be right in the center. So that is the location of negative 1.7 comma 1.5, which is in quadrant 2. So pause the video, complete the problems, and then play it back for some feedback. Now that you had some time to work on these problems, let's take a look at the answers for letter C and D. For letter C, our graph would be in quadrant 4. And for point D, it would be located on the y-axis, and it's not in any quadrant. So now that we've completed this lesson, go ahead and self-rate yourself. Let us know how you feel. If there's any part of this video that you do not understand, please go back and watch it again. And also come to class with some questions so that we can go ahead and discuss it.